Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Vanessa's Lunch and Learn. Happy Thursday. Um, it's, it's finally sunny outside, I'm so happy about that. I don't have to um, be looking at all the rain and stuff inside. Um, so I thought it would be a perfect day for a smoothie because when it's cold outside, I never really want, I'm never really interested in a smoothie. So a hot day or sunny day is great for a smoothie. So today we're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly smoothie. And this is one of the favorite kinds that I like to make at home. Um, and I know a lot of you were able to try smoothies this year, um, but since a lot of you weren't able to, I thought it would be fun to have a recipe so you all could try it at home. Um, so I'm gonna show you the recipe now, and then we'll go ahead and head into the kitchen and make our smoothie. So here's our recipe. So first, you're gonna need some things. You're gonna need, I like to put some bananas in mine. Um, then you're gonna put, wanna put some berries and that's gonna really add to the jelly taste. So bananas, berries, and then you're gonna wanna put some peanut butter. That gives you that peanut butter and jelly taste. And if you're allergic to peanuts, you could use something like sun butter. We've used that in gardening class. Um, it's just another type of butter that's made out of sunflower seeds um, in case you're allergic to peanuts. And then lastly, you can choose your kind of milk. So today I'm gonna use coconut milk in my smoothie. So don't forget your liquid because if you put a lot of fruit, it's gonna be really thick and you're gonna need a lot of milk to make it a lot easier to drink. So one more time, we're gonna need some fruits. So bananas and berries, whatever ones you have at home will work, um, but berries really give you that nice jelly taste. Peanut butter and milk. Um, so head to the kitchen, get your ingredients, and you will need a blender, so hopefully if you have one at home, you're gonna stick all your ingredients inside your blender and then blend it right up, and then you should have your smoothie ready to drink. peanut butter and jelly smoothie. Super delicious, tastes just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, so I decided to eat, drink my smoothie outside. And I like to be outside um, because the sunshine feels really good. And if you've been inside for a couple days, um, sometimes it can start making you feel a little bit down and a little bit sad. Um, and if you have ever noticed when we have cloudy days or when it's rainy and we have to be inside for a couple days, we kind of feel like we don't have a lot of energy. And I found out something really interesting um, is that humans actually need sunlight too, just like plants. And the reason that is, is because plants, um, the sun actually has some vitamins that you can get through your skin. Um, and this vitamin is called vitamin D. And vitamin D is really good for humans. Everyone try saying vitamin D. So this is really good for us. It makes us feel like we have a lot of energy. It makes us feel happy. So if you're ever feeling a little bit down and you go outside in the sunshine, you're gonna feel a little bit better because the sunshine actually makes you feel better because of this vitamin. So try getting outside today, even if it's for a walk, um, even just to sit in the sunshine because 
since we are going to be at home a lot more it's important that we do still get outside just for a walk even for a jog or a bike ride as long as you're staying safe um, with your family um, so my goal for you all is to try to get outside today i hope you can make a smoothie as well um, i would love to see um, pictures of smoothies or pictures of you outside in the sunshine um, because I want to make sure that you all are getting your vitamin D just like me today. So Rocketeers, have a good rest of your lunch. Um, happy Thursday again and have a good rest of your day.